Hi there, welcome to Geoterex Outdoors Australia. A little while back I did a review on this bare branded knife that I got from, from Wish. I don't know if you remember that, I'll put the, the link up in the, in the corner there. But uh, I said in that particular video that I would do a, a comparison with another knife, a handmade knife that I'd bought for my son in Russia. And I have this knife here. This is the difference between a, a mass-produced, acid-etched, or even machine-etched knife and a, a handmade Russian blade. Or could be made anywhere, but it's a, either way, it's a handmade knife. This is actually wolf patterned knife. This has been hand etched or carved with a wolf and some pine trees and a little log cabin. Similar design on the other side. And here we can actually see the maker's mark. Beautiful wood handle. Hasn't been finished in any particular high quality there's bits of sand sanding marks but the 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 attention to detail although it may be lapping, lacking slightly the absolute handcrafted nature of this blade just have a look at the difference in in angle of those two and the size that makes it unique this there's no other blade like this in the world that might be similar, but this has been handmade. It's not particularly thick steel, but it is full tang. There's even a hole for the lanyard to go in, and as you can see, that, that you know, a bit of time has started to split this. I think my son needs to get some oil onto here. But just look at this blade. It actually has never been used, and it still has the burrs from the sharpening on it. And so that's going to need to be tidied up. But this is scary sharp. If we were to have a look at this on a standard piece of pine, it, yeah, it needs to just be dressed up a little bit. It wants to cut, but because it's reasonably thin, it's it wants to shave more than cut. Where if you look at this here, which is a slightly thicker blade, this blade doesn't even want to shave although that's sharp the the way they've produced that edge it doesn't no well, just different different type of edge different type of, of knife what I thought I'd also do is have a quick comparison with the recent purchase of the browning that uh, that I made so let's have a look at those three lined up side by side this has got the the whitetail legacy, the bear, and the wolf knife. I don't know if you can see them in in shot, but I thought what I'd also do is show you some old school knives from my dad, and what uh, what passed for a quality knife back in those days. These haven't been sharpened in many many years, or well, this one in particular. This was a, a, uh, a knife from Sweden. There's the maker's mark there. Reminiscent of a Bowie design. It's got antler handle, nice little guard there, and a, an end piece. It's just put together very, very nicely. It wouldn't, wouldn't cut well, I don't think, at this stage. But look at that. That's even got a... It's even got a slight edge there, so you can't use this in conventional means. And then my dad's everyday knife, which was the a copy of the original Bowie knife. This is a Solingen knife. It is in, in desperate need of some attention. It's 50 years old, um, possibly older. Antler handle. The guard that it used to have on there has has gone. Don't know where that is, but uh, the handle is a little uh, a little loose at the moment. So as you can see, there's 
it's uh, it's loose there so what I may do in the future is do a refurb on this and see if I can make or put a guard back but this definitely needs some TLC and um, so yeah lined up this is what you get over the over the years from, from knives I'm sorry if that's not in in shot but yeah old school to, to new school so there you have it thanks for watching